Well, thank you and good morning. My name is Marco, Marco Palomino. I am a lecturer in information systems and big data. For the past three years, I have been teaching all the first year undergraduate students enrolled on all the computing related programs. This year, I am also teaching final year undergraduate students. I am the admissions tutor. Computing is a fast moving area. For example, the technology behind social media applications has only been around for two decades. However, in less than two decades, the technology behind social media applications has become embedded in our everyday lives, our activities, our personal activities and the workplace. The expectations we nowadays have about what computers and mobile devices can do have been shaped by this technology. Technology doesn't stand still and it keeps moving constantly. There is, for example, the prospect that autonomous cars will become common in the near future. These type of cars are now known as driverless cars. However, for driverless cars to become popular, first we need people to produce the software that is going to operate these cars safely. First, we need people who can produce the interfaces that are relevant to these cars. In general, we need people who can come up with the concepts that are going to advance the technology in the first place. And those are the people we prepare in Plymouth for a career in computing. And we are doing very well. 87% of our students are working in the industry or enrolled on postgraduate studies within six months of their graduation. And 94% of those who are working in the industry are actually working in an area that is relevant to the degrees they study. Some of them are also in a management position. What we have here is a representation of the 111 institutions in the United Kingdom that offer computing programs at the university level. We are ranked 32 in terms of employability. We are certainly above the average. And as it says here, the starting salaries for our graduates at the moment is or are around 25,000 pounds per year. So how have we managed to achieve all of this? Well, one of the reasons why we have been so successful in terms of preparing computing graduates is that all our programs are very much applied. Our programs are rooted within the real world needs for computing technology and for the people who work in that area. In our programs, students are not only learning theory and concepts, they are actually putting into practice what they are learning so that by the time they graduate, they can claim their place in the industry in a professional environment. My favorite reason to be in Plymouth is that there is plenty of research going on in this university. And we can always use the outcome of that research to improve the contents of our courses. Academics in Plymouth are operating at the leading edge of their disciplines. In fact, academics in Plymouth are not just teaching from textbooks. Our academics are the people contributing the knowledge that will inform the next generation of 
textbooks. And we have other features that are critical to our success, such as flexibility, placement gear, and so on. But those features are so important that I am going to cover them separately in the next few slides. First, I want to tell you about the computing programs that we offer in Plymouth. The first one is computer science, which covers all the theoretical underpinnings of computing. And it includes subjects such as computer science, artificial intelligence, and high performance computing. Then we have computing and software development, which covers the um, business-like aspects of information technology and includes subjects such as project management. Then we have cybersecurity. As the name indicates, this program looks into the security of the technologies and the people who employ those technologies. Within the cybersecurity program, we offer subjects such as computer forensics, intrusion analysis, and incident management. And finally, we have games development technologies, which is a program specifically for those who are interested in developing games and the entertainment platforms of the future, but also including an understanding of the core computing concepts that are necessary for a career in computing. Flexibility is common across all our programs. And this allows students to move between programs at the end of their first year. For example, students in the games development technologies after one year in Plymouth may realize that they have a hidden pension for security. If this was the case, then students can move over to the cybersecurity program at the end of the first year, provided they pass all the modules. Across all our programs, we have an extensive amount of engagement with the industry. And the most explicit expression of this engagement is the placement year. The key issue in the placement year is that it gives students the opportunity to put into practice what they are learning, earn some money, and gain work experience at the same time. As it says here, the salaries for placement students range from 15 to 25,000 pounds per year. Note that this is income rather than outlay in terms of fees. There are fees associated with the placement year and currently those amount to 900 pounds. The fees enable an ongoing relationship with the university so that the students remain students and remain supported by the university. However, they are not paying anywhere near the normal fees. On this slide, I have included a couple of pictures of actual placement students, Jody and Joe. They both enjoy working for the industry during their placement years. And then they came back to the university to graduate with a first class degree. A great deal of the learning activities students undertake in Plymouth are carried out in our labs. And we have plenty of them. For example, we have the graphics processing unit lab, the networks lab, the game and web development lab, the smart home lab, security and forensics labs, general purpose labs, and so on. I wish we were in campus right now so that I could show you around and take you for a tour of the facilities. I can keep talking about computing in Plymouth for the entire morning. 
However, I also want to give you the opportunity to ask me your questions. So just to finish off my presentation, I wanted to remind you of the three key points offered by computing degrees in Plymouth. First, flexibility. Second, a very applied hands-on approach to teaching and learning. And finally, excellent employability figures after graduation. Thank you for your time.